What's up everybody? It is Kiki and it is another 100 days of making comics challenge video. Uh, this challenge was created by Kevin Cross here on the YouTubes. Link to his channel, his first foray into the challenge, and the Facebook group in the description below the video. This challenge essentially is for 100 days consecutively every day of that 100 days you work at minimum of 30 minutes on your personal comic projects. Once you get that work for the day done you make a social media post of some kind saying what you worked on, keeping you honest, I do videos, that's the thing. <laughs> this is my day 22 of the challenge and uh had a little bit of a lull there where I was getting kind of like not happy about stuff, but getting my, getting my steam back. <laughs> um, and as I said yesterday, sketching today, but I'm not sketching the same thing. Uh, yes, so when I originally started working on the design for everybody in Frigadoodles, I originally was going to have everybody have the same head shape and similar body uh, styling as well. Um, and the last couple of days I've been, there's, I ran across a couple of videos. I, I mean, I have an ungodly large watch later <laughs> uh, playlist and I have a crap ton. I'm so behind on the other uh, 100 days videos that are going on right now. Holy crap, but I'm also super behind on the videos because I subscribe to a million people. So um, anyway, I had run across uh, talking about not only on YouTube videos, but other posts, talking about same face syndrome. That is something that has been talked about for many years uh, in their comic community. And I... I did it purposely. It wasn't a situation of I just was being lazy and wanted to do the same thing. I kind of did it purposely, but in I think it was when I started designing Mateo because up until this point, he was really the only one that had a really different face shape. And part of it was I wanted him to be kind of differentiated because he's not a real person. He's an, an amalgamation of people who annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> so that I can have somebody that tell the stories of people that annoy me without calling somebody out. Um, so yeah. And I liked that his he was different. It added a dimension to it. And so I, I've been thinking about it for a little while and I decided to try some differing head shapes and I actually like it. I think it adds a depth to the design that wasn't there previously. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I think there really is something to the talk about, you know, fa same face syndrome. I don't, there's a fine line between like critiquing people and crapping on their stuff. And I try to keep a happy medium where um, to critique and, and, and mention and say, give advice, but also not be like, you have to do it this way. I went through this whole rant just a few days ago about not doing that to people. So I think in relation to this, this is something you do need to keep in mind. Um, even if it's a situation that this is a purposeful thing. I mean, unless the only reason I can think of where it's exactly the thing to do is if you want a, you're wanting to push a visual of homogenization. That completely makes sense then to have everybody have the same. But if that's not what you're pushing for, I think that it does add a depth to your design to have differences and diversity in, you know, face, shape, body shape, the whole nine yards really. But I know a lot of comic book artists, or especially like the independent web comic artists, do fall victim to the same face syndrome. And I'm not saying you can't do that, that you're crap if you do. If that's how you want to draw your stuff, have at it, boo. I don't care. <laughs> but I think it's something to think about. When you're doing a comic, it's there's so many things. As I was saying yesterday, there's so many parts to creating a comic. There's so many things to think about. 
Um, but you have to have a balance between thinking about these things and overthinking these things. I think that's something, this is, this is an argument I get with my brother all the time. Cause as I had said in many videos, my brother is also an artist. He's getting, working into doing his own comic and he is really bad about overthinking to the point where he's never going to produce anything. And it's, it's something that we talk, well, <laughs> we have very passionate discussions about <laughs> how many times with me, you know, putting a foot, foot up his butt, trying to get him to go do it. Stop overthinking things. Um, but there's still, there's an amount of, of thinking you do have to do that. It, it really does need to be done. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a, you have to find that, you have to find that happy medium of doing the things and researching the things and studying the things and thinking about the things you need to do to make the comic, but not doing it so much that you never produce or you severely delay your producing. So yes, this was something I think I personally think was something I needed to think about that I needed to work on. And, um, yeah, so I, I got as far as redesigning the faces with different face shapes. I'm happy with that. And I started with a new version of my brother Ryan with the new face shape. Uh, my, my brother Ryan, myself and my sister are the first three on the page with just the faces. I kept a similar-ish because we're all related, um, especially myself and my sister. That is the joke is that we get, because we literally do get mistaken for each other all the time. Um like, <laughs> uh, I remember one time when we were teenagers, uh, my brother's girlfriend had not met her and she had gotten to, she was at my grandparents already and we were all heading there for Thanksgiving. And so she, <laughs> my brother and her had left and then she got there and my sister answered the door and she was like, how did y'all get here first? Oh, di different person. <laughs> and we sound a lot alike. We get mistaken for each other on the phone. Like, we could be twins. It's crazy. Anyway, this video is going long. Um, yeah, that's about what I worked on today. I kept it at 30 minutes because I have to work tomorrow. Four more days till vacation. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.